students, Mr. Mtiza here. Today we are looking at individual tax calculations. From our previous video, I explained the process in detail. If you have not watched that video, please look for the tutorial for the individual tax calculation. So let's get going. Now, these are the steps that I've outlined that we follow when we are calculating individual tax as they are. Notice step number four and number five, those are discounts that are given by the government to make sure that the tax burden you are supposed to pay becomes lighter. So we have what a question here of a man who is 55 years old, who has a daughter and earns a basic monthly salary of 28,750, receives a bonus, which was not mentioned. So we assume is the same as the basic salary and the housing allowance of 1,250. He contributes 2,600 to medical aid. So we need to calculate the medical aid, medical tax credits, 7.5% pension fund, 1% UIF and 1,000 rands monthly for charity. Calculate his monthly income tax payable. So the first thing that we need to look at boys and girls is gross income. How do we get gross income? Basic salary plus fringe benefits. What is our basic salary in this scenario? Is 28,750 rands monthly, which means we need to multiply it by 12 because gross income is supposed to year figure. Number two, we have what our bonus. The bonus is the same as the gross income, 28,750. And plus, we have got what? The housing allowance, one of the fringe benefits, which is 1,200 and what? And 50 multiplied by 12. All you need to do, boys and girls, is to make sure that you have exhausted all the income items. And in this scenario, we have. So if you multiply 28,750 multiplied by 12, what do we get? 345,000 on the calculator. Plus, this is calculated already, 28,750 plus 1,250 multiplied by 12 on the calculator, what do we get? We get 15,000. So now all we need to do is to put all of this together and we get 388,750. 388, That's our gross income for the year. And from there, we are going to look for, yes, taxable income. So for our taxable income, we take our gross income as it is, right? And we reduce our allowable deductions. And in this scenario, we have got two, pension fund and donation. Pension is 7.5% multiplied by the annual basic amount, not the gross income, as explained in the previous video. So it's 345,000. Plus the donation is a thousand per month. So we multiplied by what? By 12. It's below the limit of 100,000. So we'll say now it's 388,000. 750 rands minus when we get 7.5% of 345,000, what do we get there on the calculator? It's 25,875. 25,875. You put that in the bracket plus 12,000. When we solve that, what is our taxable income? Our taxable income then is 350,000. 875. So this is the taxable income, boys and girls, that we now have to apply to our tax tables. Now let's go to the tax tables. We are saying here, uh, our taxable income is 350,875. You want to check, sorry for that, which tax bracket does it apply? Tax bracket, right? It cannot go on the first one because it's above 226. And then obviously it's going to go onto the second what? Bracket because it's between 226,001 
and 353,100. So what do we do? We go and apply the tax rate as determined by SARS, which is 40,680 plus 20%, 26% rather, of the difference between our taxable income and the limit of the group, which is 226,000. So how do we do that? Now, applying the tax tables, we take the rate. It's 40,680 plus 26% multiplied by the difference between our taxable income, 350,875 minus 200 and 26,000. 226,000. So if we solve all this bracket from 40,000 plus 26% of the difference between this, what do we get? We get 73,147 rands 50 cents. So this is the tax that we are supposed to pay before further deductions. But what do we do now? We need to less the rebates from that same amount. How do we less the rebates? We check the age of this person is 55. So let's go to the rebate table. So everyone who is under 65, this person is 55. So he only qualifies for the first rebate. So we need to subtract that rebate, which is 14,000 minus 14,958. And when we put that into the calculator, what are we going to get? We are going to get 58,189.50. Right. Now, we are done with the rebates. What's the next thing to subtract? We need to less the medical tax credit. So we take the same amount, 58,189.50 cents minus. Now, how many people are here? Remember, it's Mr. Baloy and his daughter. They are two, the taxpayer and the first dependent. Right. Now, so what happens is now we are told again that he is a contributor to medical aid. If the question is silent about contribution for medical aid, you cannot calculate for medical tax credits. Number one. Number two, we do not use the medical aid contribution for the calculation of tax. We go to the medical aid tax credit. There we go. So which means for the taxpayer pays this amount, same applies with the first dependent. So we need to make it an annual figure. We multiply it by what? By 12. And if you multiply it by 12, that's what we get. So which means we need to take this 3,720, we multiply it by what? By 2. We come this side, minus 3,720, multiply by 2. Because the 3,720 is a yearly figure for one person. And they are two multiplied by two. So when we solve that and subtract, what do we get? We get 50,749 rands, 50 cents. So this is our annual tax table. Annual tax, not table, but payable. But remember the question said monthly tax payable. So for us to get the monthly tax payable, what do we do? Monthly tax payable, what do we do? We take the one for annual, which is 50,749.50 cents, and we divide it by what? By 12. And what will be our monthly income tax? 4,229 rands and 13 cents. So boys and girls, this is how we do the calculation of personal income tax. I hope you learned something. It's not something that you will get overnight. You will have to do it over and over. Let me quickly go through the second example for you. Tombi, 42 years old, he has a son, 
receives an annual taxable income. Now, the moment you get this statement, annual taxable income or a monthly taxable income, already you are going to the tax tables. There is no reason for you to calculate the gross income. There is no reason for you to calculate the pension and the donations. We are going straight because this is the taxable income that we are supposed to consider on our tax bracket, 380,000. So we need to go to the tax tables. We have what, 300 and what? 80,000. Straight away, straight away. The other calculations do not matter. And obviously, 380,000 goes into that third bracket. So we apply this tax rate. Now, which is now going to be equal to 73,726 plus 31% of the difference between our taxable income for the whole year, 380,000, minus the limit for the group, which is 353,100 rands. And when we solve that, what do we get? We get 82,000, 82,065. So this is our yearly tax before deduction but then we need to less the rebates less rebates eighty two thousand and sixty five minus how old is this person forty two years old so she she qualifies for the first rebate only which is fourteen thousand nine hundred and what and fifty eight and when we subtract that what do we get we get sixty seven thousand one hundred and seven cents from there what do we do we need to less the medical tax credits now we take the same amount seven thousand one hundred seven minus how many are these people they are two taxpayer and first dependent just like our first question so it's three thousand seven hundred twenty multiplied by two people and what do we get there it's 59,667. This is the annual tax to be paid. And when you get to this place, you know that you are done. Everything else that is mentioned, like the pension fund, UIF, will all be negated by the fact that we are given the annual taxable income. So it's either they give you the annual taxable income or the monthly taxable income. This is how you need to do the calculations, boys and girls. The procedure is the same. When you're given the taxable income, we begin at the tax brackets. But if you're not given, we start from gross income until we answer what the question wants us to answer. So this is exactly what we are supposed and expected to do. Boys and girls, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you can get the next videos that are coming. Thank you.